and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Demir Control. This is our only rank up Sunday deck that we're playing today. Well, only one in ranked. We have a couple donation decks that we're going to be doing here in a little bit after these two. And then we also had the playing Cation event that we started uh, the stream off with, the special event that's going on from now until Wednesday on Arena. But anyway, um, yeah, so the, a deck that we haven't played uh, too much of, that we just played the one time during the Rotation Proof Tuesday last week, that looked really good, was Demir Control. And I wanted to try it over in Ranked with just a couple of upgrades for uh, not being Rotation Proof. So, you know, we, we got our Drowned Catacombs here in the deck now. We got some Frasis Contempts. We weren't able to play that card before, and we have one as Kanta over one of these Discoveries. Um, but Demir Control seems like a pretty decent option in a metagame filled with vampires as the most popular deck, considering as you see here, we have four Legion's End and three Cry of the Carnarium. We are really trying to, uh, you know, get rid of all sorts of vampires all the time. And to the God Eternals is a very good removal spell against vampires also that can take out some of the, the bigger vampires and get you a blocker and gain some life, and it doesn't die to Soren's tick up and everything there. Um, and so, yeah, so this is kind of a meta deck against vampires. It also is pretty good against Scapeshift as well. Again, a lot of ways to kill zombies from the Scapeshift deck with these things. Keep uh, Krasis from drawing lots of cards with all these Narsets as well. So, like, that's, that's kind of like what our deck's doing is, you know, like, we're just a, a control deck that is you know similar to Grix's control here, but we're not splashing red, so we're taking less damage from our mana base because we have 16 basic lands in here instead. Our main win condition, of course, is Kefnet. Uh, that works really well with Drawn from Dreams and Contempt and Enter the God Eternals and very well with dis Discovery Dispersal as well. Um, but then Liliana does a good job ending games also. So let's give this a try. Let's see how Demir Control does over in ranked. We'll play couple of matches over there today depending on how long the matches take we may not play five matches we'll see our playcation event took a little while we got two donation decks to do today as well so we'll see we'll play somewhere between at least three we'll play somewhere between three to five matches with this but i'm excited about this deck um as you all know, I played the Teamer Elementals in the MCQ yesterday. When I was coming down to it of like the last two decks, I was it was either going to be the Teamer Elementals or this deck. I was definitely really considering playing this deck. And for what we played against, playing Mono Red, Mono Red, and Vampires, I wish I played this deck. I think this is better against those decks with all of the early removal and sweepers in here. All right, so standard, we don't have anything to do until turn four and we're on the draw. And we have an extra Kef net that's also just kind of a dead card. It's not a good sign. We're gonna go ahead and chip. Well, I don't really wanna go to sit or go to five. So we're just gonna go ahead and try this out. We at least have one early removal spell. Awesome, there you go. You went use the mono black control in the plantation today. Yeah, that's a, that's a good choice. Yeah, there's one dismal backwater in here just to help out our our mana. So that, um, or just helps our mana because we have double blacks and double blues and everything like that as far as our mana cost goes. So Dismal Backwater helps that, just having a ninth dual land. Yeah, 
If we're willing to play a couple more dismal backwaters, we could probably fit a couple of Field of Ruins in here. Probably fit like two Field of Ruin if we played two more dismal backwaters. That's just an, another thing to help against these Field of the Dead decks. Risen Reef dodges my removal pretty good. And besides, like, all my Cry of the Canariums, I suppose. But it dodges Legion's End very well. This game looks pretty over, though. Seven Risen Reef triggers. Really difficult. That was our best draw, getting rid of those Risen Reefs. We're going to need to find a Contempt to try to get rid of Yurok. Um, Growth Spiral instead of Wild Growth Walker in that deck. I think I'd rather have Wild Growth Walker. It's going to be a good amount of times where Growth Spiral doesn't get an extra land drop. It's like every Elvish Rejuvenator just comes along with eight zombies. This game's just over. <sighs> Mind and body should move in. I have just the trick for this. All right, get these extra noxious grafts in here that can kill your rocks. Got to be able to do that. This is going to be pretty tough, honestly, like with them having all sorts of Vela Summers and Negates and all that kind of stuff. Whenever we played this deck last week, this year rock field was this year rock field deck wasn't really a deck, but now it's really popular. Saw it a lot yesterday. I may have to adjust things here. Um, so we saw that game. Legion's End wasn't even good. 
wasn't even something that I was really that interested in. I don't think I can really take out the negates. All right, let's give this a try. Yes, I understand that removal for zombies is not enough to win. I, I never said that it was. This is why we have a ninth duel with the Dismal Backwater. Because when you just have all basics of the same, it's not good. I was hoping Discovery would help us hit our blue mana. Not the case. Okay. That Risen Reef card. Card is something else. Or hopefully we get one more blue and get to play this Kefnet. Thought erasures have been awesome for our opponent. Rewarded. Good call leaving me with Kefnet. Top card, another swamp. We have nine islands, seven swamps in the deck for our basics. Just gonna draw three Risen Reefs each game. GG. That was a very lucky draw step. That probably doesn't matter. I was very lucky though. I'm out of Cry of the Carnariums now, though that that's it's a big problem, but we got three Risen Reefs out of here. Alright, don't keep a hand with Triple Swamp, I suppose. Don't keep a land with Triple Swamp. No, our opponent's not playing Scape Shift.
And today is not my day, yo. This is not... Not my day. Well, this hand looks very reasonable, actually. We have an island and a swamp. That really long stream yesterday, it's just... It wore me down. So they're getting Domri out of their hand. Uh, presumably so they don't have to discard as much with Rotting Regisaur. They could also have... That last card could be Rot or, uh, Regisaur Alpha. You know, Ceratops. We'll take that. Um... Contempts are pretty nice here, though, because you know we get they'd play the seven six, and then we let them discard a card before contempting it. <laughs> or they could draw that card. Wish I would have kept a Thought Erasure, or kept that Thought Erasure. We could could have taken one of the Dinos. The only authority that I recognize is Chaos. I don't know how we're going to deal with the other 7-6 now. You know, maybe Ritual of Sid or something. I don't know how we're dealing with the other one. Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Ugh. So Kefnet probably is just going to die to Domri. We have nothing else to do, though. I'm just going to put it in the graveyard. I'm not going to put it back into the deck. It's not a card I want to draw. I guess I could have just kept it in my hand. Just doesn't do anything. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Yeah, I should have kept Thought Erasure. The Razor would have been able to take. I mean, yeah, I should have just taken it. Like I thought they were gonna go seven six into seven six, but they drew that rip jaw to be able to play rip jaw and then seven six seven six. Get rid of those things. Into the God Eternals doesn't kill anything, does it? Just Regisaur Alpha. I guess it is good against Regisaur Alpha. I guess it is good there.
And who knows, maybe we get like two Enter the God Eternals back to back. Make like an 8 8. Yeah, then I guess like the two drop Raptor. Yeah, I can kill like the one, one and two drops. <laughs> but. These our games aren't going too long, though. We're concerned about playing long games. Hasn't been the case too much. R means that we're playing the deck in ranked. The two Ds mean that that's a donation deck that a viewer donated to see play. I need some lands. Um, can't possibly beat a Ripjaw Raptor or a Shifting Ceratops or anything like that. That's a lot of cards I can't beat. Alright, we'll take the Ceratops. I mean, this thing can block Ceratops, but we're so long away from being able to play that. I want to take, I want to take Registrar Alpha, though. I guess Alpha hits harder, but half of Alpha we get to kill with the Soot. But then still has the other 4 4 party and gives the stuff haste. I guess I take Alpha. Yeah, it's pro blue, but this the creature is black. The zombie army creature is black. I can't get rid of the land. We're gonna need to draw a black source though. We need to draw two lands back to back. Whoa! Dog Dog with a huge raid. That is more people than I have ever had in this channel. Welcome, everybody. Wow, welcome, everybody, from Dog's just absolute huge raid here. Welcome. So, um, if you're just joining here, we're we're doing uh, a couple of different things here. We played the uh, Johnny's Plaincation event. Welcome all the dogs in here. We're doing. We did that. Um, played in Johnny's. <coughs> Johnny's. Strength of the Pride deck there. And now we are currently playing some ranked with Demir Control. And after this, we have a couple of sweet donation decks to play. Oh yeah, Steely Dan's one of my favorite one of my favorite decks. Or gosh, sorry. I, I had a 13 and a half hour stream yesterday. <laughs> and so I'm kind of not all with it today with that um 
But we got a couple sweet donation decks that we're going to be playing after this. Gol Golgari Poison is a poison tip archer deck that we'll be playing after this. And then Orza Vampires. And the specific vampire list that we're playing is a bloodthirsty aerialist, trying out that in the vampire deck. Yeah, my brain's kind of melted. It is, but... I don't, yeah, I didn't have anything to really save me there. It's all good. So. There we go. But yeah, so welcome everybody. I stream here each day, 3 to 10 Eastern. Oh, I do need to change my avatar. That's, that's what I should do. Good call there, Welsh Dragon. Need to change my avatar, change my luck. Yeah, it's kind of like Golgari Aristocrats. Um, we're going to be playing the card that makes a lot of sapperlings. We have four of those. The five drop. Um, that every upkeep it makes a sapperling. And so then we're going to just try to make a bunch of creatures. And then we have poison tip archer. And then we got sweepers like fine finality, masker girl. Things like that. They can just wipe the board and kill our opponent. Tender shoot dryad. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. I do not know anything about Maelstrom Angel. I do not know I do not know what that card is. No, I didn't have I didn't put Slimefoot in there. Definitely thought about having Slimefoot, but kind of went with like a, a more generic, like good stuff with Golgari besides those. Um besides that part there. Have like Vraska Golgari Queen that can also sacrifice our uh, our creatures and everything. Man, this Rotting Register card is just wrecking me pretty bad. So we'll, we'll at least get rid of this Crowl Harpooner. Next turn we'll have Contempt for the Rotting Register if we're not dead already. I love everything we will be dead already. To yeah, we're going to try to ramp into the Tender Shoot Dryad with some mana creatures. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, Yeah, I don't have Cast Down in my deck, and we are just getting destroyed by these Dinosaur decks. We're not playing Cast Down is, is really killing me here. <laughs> yeah, Ring Down Sunday. Hmm. I'm a big fan of Rotting Regisaur and Vivian Arcbow Ranger together, though. We were playing one of those kind of decks yesterday. Definitely need this extra Ritual of Soot. Vivian Arcbow Ranger is really cool. We may not play this deck too much more. We're going we're gonna to at least play one more match after this one if we lose really quickly again. See if we play against a different type of deck. But, to, be, to be fair, I was not expecting just a whole bunch of Rotting Regisaurs. Today. But that's where we're at. Um, let's get this in play. Yeah, possible. I didn't really take a look at the MCQ decks. It's possible that... Rotting Registrar was making an impact there. Uh, 
Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna need a... Oh, obvious. Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to it. We're fit enough to survive. A ritual of so would be really nice. I will not go extinct. Let's see if we can find a ritual of set for these things. We'll have like contempt. We'll have contempt for Steel Leaf Champion. Well, that card is awesome if we can get to it. I should probably keep this. I could definitely win me this game. We are three cards away from flipping the Ascanta, though. I'm not sure I really have too much time to cast this Drawn from Dreams. So they just have to just pay one mana. All right, well, I guess we're playing the Drawn from Dreams. Um, land and... I may just take land, land, honestly. So the Drawn from Dreams is going to be card number six in the graveyard. So we will be able to flip as Kanta. So I guess we don't need land, land. We'll go land, Ugin. That's card number six, so that'll flip. We'll go like Liliana minus, make them sacrifice two things, then they kill Liliana, and then we start playing Ugin, ticking up. If it's Ritual Soda, I would keep it. Okay. Well... Hmm. Yeah, I could play Narset to look for Ritual of Soot. I only have two Ritual of Soots in here, though. So we know the bottom five cards aren't it, so you know it's not it's not very it's not very likely that we uh, find it. If I go Liliana minus. We kill two things, but then we're taking... Then they kill Liliana, and we take five. If I go U if I go Ugin, kill Steel Leaf, I'm taking six, so I'm taking an extra point. All right, I'm going to I'm going to risk it. I don't I don't really like either of these options, honestly. I, I don't think that we really win in either one. Meditate and prepare. Oh, why can't we have one more land? Oh, why can't we have one more land? All right, GG's. I mean, this was definitely risky. Um Yeah, I mean, this is over. I guess if maybe they don't do the whole hexproof thing. Because really, like, going, like, the route with either of these, we just have, like, if they play anything else, it's going to be tough for us. <laughs> yeah, rank down at Sunday. Cry of the Carnarium doesn't, would only kill, like, they're 3-3-3-3-5-4. Three, 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 Cry of the Carnarium doesn't, doesn't kill stuff. It would just kill the land war, but then we, that's still lethal. Um, you know, because they they still have they have eleven power, and I'm at ten. But taking the legions end, maybe they don't. Maybe they didn't use the hexproof thing, and we actually got to exile the two things there.
<clears throat> and this is the problem with playing the, the Dismal Backwater, though. Is... You know, earlier we lost a game because we had just, like, all swamps. Couldn't get enough blue mana. We have this ninth dual land, but then there's times like this. I think this is still... Like, on the draw, I would have mulliganed this. But I think on the play, we still have enough time to just continue on. So see what kind of deck our opponent's playing. All right, Nexus. Well, all our cards are dead. Drawn from Dreams is so strong. Well, I went digging for another land. You know, I was going to try to play that, then Thought Erasure. And it work. So we'll have three Unmoored Egos in our sideboard to help us out here. And then a couple more Duresses and Negates as well. They don't have any card advantage engine right now, though, so like just casting Nexuses, as you can tell, doesn't really help them too much because you can see they just have just like one card. The, the Root Snare doesn't matter. Now that is a very Ooh, good card advantage engine. For my study. I have learned much from my Thought Erasure doesn't do anything with Tamio in play because of the passive ability with Tamio. We cannot cause them to discard cards. So this one, Drawn from Dreams, also does get around Narset. Because you just look at cards and you put them into your hand. It's not... Um, it's not draw extra cards. I'm just going to play the Ascanta. Because Ascanta gives me my best chance of hitting another land and then being able to contempt the Tamiyo. Where if I play Narset, we don't actually... Like, Narset, a couple of problems. Like, we don't actually hit a land with Narset. And also they have this Blast Zone there. I mean, they have the Blast Zone on this thing, too. But... Alright. I'm willing to call this a game. We'll have these, 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 these. Um, not whatever I just put in. But we'll put these in. This kills enchantments. All right, so sit, cry, legions end. All of those are out. Um, Enter the God Eternals is out. 
And a Liliana can go. I wouldn't mind taking out the other Liliana. I don't like Ashiok in this matchup. I know it can exile their graveyard for to keep them from flipping as Kanta. But you don't want to mill that. Like, milling them is not very good against the Nexus deck. I guess if we unmoored Ego, if we already Egoed away Nexus, then it could be okay. Is it better than Liliana? Maybe it is. Liliana doesn't do anything. Maybe if we if we can unmoored ego Nexus. If not, we'll just minus on ourself and we can mill over a few of our cards with it. It's not spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, it's un unclear how many win cons my opponent's playing. They us yeah usually has more after a sideboard, but may not have that many overall. And so like maybe Ashiok can exile a win con if we're lucky. My guess my guess after a sideboard here is it's probably like four. That's that's where I'd put it around, you know, like around four win cons. So anything that's not a land is going to the graveyard. I always thought Anticipate is an underrated card. It's a card I like. Digs pretty well, you know, instant, instant speed is nice. Yeah, we may be getting to that Golgari Poison deck here pretty soon. I think if we lose this one, this will be our last match. And this one's not looking so great. We're not going to draw land. We have a lot of lands in this deck, right? There's 25. Okay, not as quite as much as I thought. Yeah, we are not lucky today. This is not our day. Hey, Lou. My mistake was not drawing lands. It is an honor to meet you. I know, what was I thinking? One mana cryptic command also kind of makes it hard to play blue black decks. I didn't want them to like tick up and save Veil of Summer though and put it into their hands. Get another. So there's two reclamations in there, two Tamios. You've already lost. You just don't know it yet. It's a matter. Oh man, I am not thinking about changing the avatar. Yeah, I should have done that. Thank you, opponent. No over two dead cards for us. Thank you so much. Okay, so I definitely think that they have counter magic. Well, I guess they could have Grow Spiral. I guess. I want to play this thing, though. Instead of just Contempt. I guess Narset shuts down Jay's pretty well. Hmm. 
That's a lot of mana. for action. So we'll be able to flip as Kanta. <clears throat> Activate it a lot. Uh, not a not a good shot for us. We'll see at least Jace doesn't draw any cards anymore. Draw from Dreams is awesome. So jealous my opponent gets to like actually cast Drawn from Dreams. Because they have the mana too. And then they also have nine more mana like at their end step. They just get to untap. I get to activate as Kanta and cast Drawn from Dreams and cast Nexus. I'm so jealous. Well, I have five lands. So yeah, Drawn from Dreams is good with Reclamation because you can, you know, like your your lands are going to untap anyway. So like, you want to use mana before that, so you. It's perfectly fine to use mana sorcery speed because your lands are going to untap anyway. Like, it's just basically reclamation gives you a lot more mana. And if you have more mana, what you want is you want something that gives you more cards. And Drawn from Dreams does that, it finds you the exact cards that you want. So anytime you have more mana, having. Things that velocity through your deck to find exactly what you want. So you can take advantage of that extra mana. That's good enough for me. Let's move on to Golgari Poison. So Demir Control did not work out at all. Um, no vampires in sight for us. Our removal didn't work out too well. Um, our, our mana base didn't work out very well. We were either stuck on lands or had like all swamps or just things like that. Um, yeah, just nothing really worked out. So sometimes that's how magic goes. But there we go. That's Demir Control. So if you're watching the video on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. If you're here in the chat and you're kind of new to the chat, if you, my YouTube channel is there. YouTube.com slash ToddStevensMTG is where I put up all the videos, including all six decks that we played yesterday and everything else there. Uh, but there we go. Yep, that's Demir Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.